Videos are everywhere. They can convey information more quickly than any other format, from YouTube and Instagram stories to app development courses, playing videos directly inside your app is becoming more and more needed. How can you play videos in Flutter then? There is a library directly from the Flutter team simply called Video Player, and this library, however, is completely bare bones. While it can play videos, it's completely up to you to add video playback controls, as you can see on the screen right now. This is not the standard video player, because there is a better option which comes bundled with a nice styled UI, which you could expect both for Android and iOS, and that library's name is Chewy. Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. Let's start with the pubspec.yaml file where we want to import the Chewy library. The current version of Chewy is 0.9.7. Just go to pub.dartlang.org and search for Chewy or also you can use the link in the video description. Also, there is a written tutorial post on resocoder.com, so if you want to go through this code at your own pace, click on the link in the video description, which is gonna take you to that written article on resocoder.com. After we have Chewy here in the PubSpec YAML file, we want to do a special iOS setup, because in order to be able to play network videos, we need to tell iOS about our intentions of loading network data. Similar setup is also required for Android, but uh, when you create a new app through the template, you know, Flutter create and uh, that command runs, all of the needed permissions for Android are already pre-filled for you. That is not true for iOS when you want to play videos. So in order to change the basically permission for iOS so that we can be able to play videos, we need to go into iOS folder then runner and here is a file called info.plist here we want to scroll all the way down and add a new entry so inside this outer dictionary we want to add another dictionary with a key its key is ns app transport security and dictionary is ns allows arbitrary loads and we want to set it to be true. Again, code is available from the link in the video description. Also, if you are using iOS simulator, you'll not be able to play videos directly inside that simulator as we are able to do uh, in Android emulator. For playback on iOS devices, you actually need to use an actual device, not a simulator that just how it's set up with iOS for some reason. So be aware of that. Chewy and also Video Player, for that matter, can play videos from three sources, which are assets, files and network, and the beauty of it is that you do not need to write a lot of code to change the data source. Switching from an asset to a network video is really a matter of just a few keystrokes. So let's first take a look at playing assets. In order to play asset files, we need to specify them inside our project structure here, we need to create a new folder directly at the root of our project. And let's call it videos. And this folder will hold any kind of videos that we want to have as assets. Assets are simply files which come bundled with your app once it's built. So on Android, you build an APK file and these videos will be bundled together with that APK file. Then Chewy and Video Player can also play simply files, which you can get from the file system of that device. We're not going to get to that in this tutorial. It's really simple if you know how to work with files, so you'll be able to get up to speed quickly. But what we are going to do is to play network videos, so stay tuned for that. For now, let's focus on these videos. We want to have a single video here and it's actually going to be the intro video. Just drag it over to videos. Now it's added into the videos folder, but we need to do one additional setup in order for these assets to be able to play. And that is that we need to go to PubSpec YAML and here inside Flutter, here we have some kind of a guide on how to add assets to our application. So we can simply uncomment this and we want to 
at this single video of ours over here. So it's located under videos and then intro video mp4. Now save that. This video file will be connected and now we can use it as an asset. Now comes the time to start playing videos and for that Chewy provides its own widget which is as I've already mentioned only a wrapper on top of the video player which comes directly from the Flutter team. So Chewy is not reinventing the wheel, it is only beautifying the wheel by adding some nice UI on top of it. Because we want to play multiple videos displayed in a list view, as you can see here in the example app. By the way, this second one is Big Bugs Bunny. The beloved free movie that everyone plays in every kind of example. So uh, I've decided that I'm going to be one of them. So because we are doing it in a list view, it's going to be the best to put all of the video playing related things into its own widget. So we're now going to create a widget called Chewy List item. Also, because video player resources need to be released, we need to create a stateful widget to get hold of the dispose method, because otherwise we are going to be leaking uh, the memory all over the place and we definitely do not want to do that. So let's now create Chewy list item under the lib folder. Inside Chewy list item we want to start out with importing all of the various packages which are chewy.dart, material.dart and also video player.dart because as I've said, Chewy is only a wrapper on top of the video player which comes as the first party package. Then we want to create a new class Chewy list item, which as I've said will be stateful widget because we want to get hold of the dispose function in order to dispose or get rid of those pesky resources which are no longer needed. Then our Chewy list item will need a video player controller instance, so it's going to be a final field, and also whether or not we want to loop the video because we are going to pass this information over from main.dart where we'll have that list view. So we will create new list view items in main.dart. We're going to create these classes here, Chewy list item, and then we are going to pass in video player controller which will contain the URL or asset path, which we want to play and then whether or not we want to loop the video. Once we have these fields, we also need to put them inside a constructor. Video player controller is required because without that, we are not going to be able to play any videos. Looping is not required because looping, it doesn't matter whether it's false or true, videos are still going to be able to be played. Then we are going to create Chewy list item state. It's actually created for you if you are just creating a stateful widgets from the template inside Visual Studio. Our Chewy list item state will hold an additional field called Chewy controller and it's going to be private. Then because we are inside a stateful widget, inside the state class to be precise, we can use the init state overridden method inside of which we are going to set up this Chewy controller to a new instance. So we need to set it up to be Chewy controller because that is an actual class. And on this class, we want to set up video player controller to be the video player controller, which is passed into the stateful widget from some other place in our code. So we can get widget fields by prefixing the name with widget. So we want to access widget dot video player controller and set it up to be video player controller. Then the aspect ratio of the video should be 16 by nine. You can have any other aspect ratio. You can even pass it in so that that video will be precisely the aspect ratio as that video file is recorded in. However, we are now going to have only 16 by nine so we can hard code it. Then we need to set auto initialize to be true because otherwise when we start the app, we're going to see only dark color where there should be a video. With auto initialize set to be true, we are going to see the first frame of the video. So uh, if we close this app and launch it again, now you'll be able to see that uh, after some time, 
we can see that uh, the first video is green, the second video is black because the first frame is black, but when the first frame is not black, it's going to be nicely colored. So that's why we want to set auto initialize to be true. Then we are going to actually use the looping field from the widget so that we can uh, loop or not loop the video as we want. And then, as you can see in the emulator, we have some kind of an error inside the last video. That is because we are passing in a non-valid URL and therefore we are displaying an error. However, this error needs to be displayed in a custom way and that is through error builder on Chewy controller. Error builder takes in a build context and an error message and then we're just going to return any kind of widget from this error builder. When we return only center text, it's going to be horribly styled. You can style it much better, hopefully much better than me, but the principle is still the same. You wanna return a widget from error builder, which will display the error message passed into the error builder. So now that we have Chewy controller all initialized and set up, we can go to the build function, which will simply return a Chewy widget, which takes in the controller and then we just wrap it inside a padding so that we have some nice spacing from the sides of the screen. So Chewy widget with a Chewy controller are the most important things over inside the build function. And then finally, the dispose function, we need to have it here so that we can get rid of the unneeded resources of video player controller from the widget and also of Chewy controller, which is directly created inside this state class. So just add dispose and dispose of all of the unneeded resources over there. So this is all for Chewy list item dart. Now all we need to do is to go to main dart and actually make things happen. We have a default app here, so I'm just going to delete it all. And we're going to go through from the very beginning. So again, we first want to add all of the import statements. We want to import our own custom Chewy list item, then Flutter material and also video player because we are actually going to set up video player controller over inside main.dart so that we can pass in the asset or URL or even the file which we want to play. Then we're going to have the main function as always. You are already used to that. If you have created some kind of a Flutter app before, it runs the my app widget, which is a stateless widget, which is the root of our whole application, which is a material app. And from it, we want to have a home set up to be my home page. My home page is only a stateless widget, which has a build function. And there is really nothing fancy about this my home page. It will simply hold a scaffold with an app bar and then a list view, which has children. Chewy list items, because this is where we want to place our videos. The first Chewy list item, which is the class which we have created just a while ago, we need to set up on it video player controller. And this is where we are going to pass whatever we want to pass into the video player controller so that we can play assets, network videos, or even files. So this first one will be video player controller dot asset and the asset which we want to play is videos slash intro video. And as you can see here, this is precisely where our intro video is located. And then on the first video, we also want to set up looping to be true so that it loops indefinitely until we stop it. Then the next thing we want to have here is another Chewy list item. This is the Big Buck Bunny. The written tutorial is obviously in the video description if you want to get hold of this precise URL, but you can really put any kind of a URL in there which contains MP4 files. Not YouTube. For YouTube, there is a special kind of way to play YouTube videos because obviously YouTube doesn't want to lose money over playing videos and not displaying ads because if you just play the mp4 file which is somewhere on youtube's google's servers they would not be able to serve ads so they would kind of lose money on that so obviously they do not want to allow you to just simply do that there is a special library called uh, i think youtube player or something similar for flutter it uses uh, native functionality also in ios and also on android 
So if you'd like to see such a YouTube player tutorial on Flutter, I will be more than happy to cover it. But for now, you just need to know that you cannot simply play YouTube videos over from the Chewy video player or even the video player, which is like the first party one. With that said, the last list item will be one which displays error because the URL doesn't exist. So uh, we've just changed Big Bug Bunny to say error.mp4 and surely there is no video called error.mp4. So these are all of our three Chewy list items and that's about it. So now we can just save main.dart, launch the emulator by hitting F5. And here we go. As you could see, all of the three videos have been loaded. The last one still displays an error message. And now we can just play these videos as before. We can even skip through them. And you can see that it works as you'd expect. If this video helped you to understand playing, if this tutorial helps you to understand how to play videos through the Chewy library on Flutter, definitely give it a like and also share it. Subscribe to this channel and also join the notification squad by hitting the bell button so that you're not gonna miss any of my new videos and you're going to be notified about all of my tutorials and other kinds of advice type of videos as soon as they come out. If you have anything to say, leave it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and see you in the next video.